game is so bad, I really don't want to play it. But Darth Vader came from the planet Vulcan and said that he'll melt my brains if I don't, so I don't have a choice. The first thing I really admire is how well it followed the movie. And you gotta love that music. Sounds just like the movie, right? And that's it. It just loops over and over again. And you're not gonna believe it, but that's all you hear the entire game. Yep, from the title screen all the way to the end, the same fucking music. I'd rather have a fucking buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear than subject them to this horrendous garbage. Now about the gameplay, well, you're racing against the time limit, and you have to collect clocks to get more time, so that's pretty creative, isn't it? So you're walking through Hill Valley, and every single thing you can imagine is out to kill you. Bullies, hula hoop girls, killer bees, and guys holding glass windows, just like in the movie. What happened here? Is this Hill Valley, or is it Hell? I never knew a hula hoop girl could be so deadly. Why does she want to kill Marty anyway? Not to mention it doesn't even look like Marty. Look at that black helmet head. Also, when did he ever wear that sleeveless black shirt? Oh look, I got a bowling ball. Remember that in the movie? Remember when Marty goes around throwing bowling balls at people? Whose idea was this? What were they thinking? Ah, the skateboard. Now that makes a lot more sense but it's the most annoying thing in the game. Yeah, it makes you go faster, but you can't stop. You crash into everything, and it makes it a whole hell of a lot fucking harder. Jumping is useless. Try jumping over the bench, you'll never make it. So what's the point of having a jump button if it doesn't help at all? What are those guys doing with that window anyway? And why are those giant bees always coming out? Give me a break. And what the fuck is Marty doing when he gets killed? It looks like he's having some kind of seizure. I mean, I guess I'd have a seizure too if there were bees and hula hoop girls and all this weird shit coming at me. I mean, just leave me alone. I'm trying to collect clocks. I never got too far in this game, but after the walking stages are over, you go to the cafe, which by this time is a breath of fresh air to see something different and get a break from that horrible music. So you move up and down behind this counter throwing milkshakes at people, and if any of them touch the counter, you're done for. You'd think it would be easy to hit them, but it's not. Common sense would say if you stand in front of someone and throw something, it would hit them. You can't tell where to stand. Now if you actually have the patience to get through the cafe stage, guess what's next? More walking. You know what's the worst thing about this game? is that it bears the name Back to the Future, a movie well worth putting more time and effort into making a decent game. And the movie came out in 85, the game 89. There's no excuse. No fucking excuse. Just suddenly orders are passed. Quick, make a shitty game, name it after a big movie, and then just spit it into all the stores for all the kids to buy for 50 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, 50 fucking bucks. There's no internet to look up reviews back then. It was just, you know, you buy a game and you hope for the best. And with Back to the Future, how could you go wrong? Oh yeah, you can fucking go wrong, alright. Like, if I just shat into a bag and wrote Back to the Future on it, that would be the same as this awful piece of shit. It brings my piss to a boil. What a piece of shit. I'll never play it again either. It's my last time. I'd rather eat out the rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk than play this game ever again. And I'm dead serious too. And you know what's worse? You know what's, <laughs> what's really worse? Guess what? There's a sequel! Yes, it's true. Back to the Future 2 and 3. Two shitty games for the price of one. Let's check it out. Holy shit, look, the DeLorean. Now I remember that from the movie. Not so much the piranhas, the snails, the weird face, 
the running frog, the bouncy thing, the thing in the sewer that comes out and kills Marty, the little dinosaurs, the cloud that drops pellets, and whatever the fucking goddamn hell that is. And look at those. What are they? Goombas and the spiky thing ripped right off of Super Mario Brothers? Fucking slackers. And every time you die, the DeLorean drops you off, and it seems like it always takes you in the opposite direction of what you're trying to go. Shit, soup! Oh god, don't let the blue bird get you! Ass! Get the key, get the key! Yeah, the hoverboard! Cool, a bonus stage. Wow. Fuck this. I wish I could go back in time to prevent this game from being made. Unfortunately, I need to build a flux capacitor and I also need some plutonium to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity, so it's out of the question. So, let's end on a positive note. There's got to be one good thing about this game, and I know what it is. It fits in a toaster.